Welcome to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. This fall I will be a second grade teacher in West Michigan and today is day two of my setup series. I'm super, super excited. If you did not see day one, I will have that linked below. Also below, I will have all of my social media accounts. So I'll have Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, all the things. I can't think of anything else, but it's all gonna be down there. So take a moment to check out those if you are interested. Also take a moment to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every time I post new video. Today I have my pink drink from Starbucks, which I just started drinking and then I was like, oh, I should save it for a second so I can show it in the vlog. So I got my pink drink. It is delicious. I'm wearing my pink dress. I'm wearing pink shoes. It is a pink day and I am pinking excited. Get it instead of stinking excited. I am pinking excited to go set up my room. So let's do this. <laughs> Okay, back in my classroom and I have some things I know I wanna work on right away, things that I like brought with me. So the first thing is I'm going to put some labels above my four little clipboards over here. So I made these labels last night, maybe this morning, I can't remember. And I did post these in my Teachers Pay Teachers for just a couple bucks if you want them. I will link them below. And then also on my last video, a couple of you recommended that I pick up some of this wrinkle release spray and use this for the fabric on my bulletin boards. So I'm gonna use this on my bulletin boards to help Help get out some of the wrinkles and then I also picked up some of this like craft brown border that I think will look really cute on my bulletin boards that I already have so I might put this up today as well and then also on the agenda I want to get fabric on my two bulletin boards that don't have fabric on them already and then I want to start moving some of the furniture onto the carpet because I am good to go my floors are officially all cleaned and dry and all of that fun stuff so I might start moving some furniture so that way I can get to my like little bulletin board that I'll show you guys in just a second so that way I can tear off the paper and then put fabric on that as well. So my main goal today is get all of the bulletin boards at least covered with fabric if nothing else and then also get like labels up and all the fun stuff. So let's do this. I just brought a bunch of stuff in that was in my car. I brought in like my Cricut and like just a bunch of random stuff as well. And then this is the bulletin board that I'm talking about that like right now I can't really easily get to it because I have all these desks right here. So I might move just a few desks over onto the carpet so I can get over here and then tear that down. Okay, so I just added those four labels on and I just think it looks really nice and clean. So I'm excited for that. I might actually move them down a little bit because right now I don't love that they're not like centered on the board, but oh well, we'll see if I end up moving them or not. But these will be super helpful just to reference during the school year when I need to just like quickly turn over and look at something. So I had my phone list be the first one right by my phone over here. So that way I can just like quickly reference it. So now I'm on to using this little wrinkle release on the fabric. It smells so good. <laughs> job ever but we're just gonna take it that's fine we're fun we're flexible I'm standing on staples Okay, so I just got all of the fabric up and now I'm kind of debating which borders I wanna use. So I have a bunch of these black and white polka dot borders and then I also have a bunch of this white scallop border and then I just bought the brown scallop border as well. So I think what I'm gonna do is layer the brown and the white and see how that looks. But yes, we will see. I'm not positive how it's gonna look, but we're gonna try it. Do I like that better or? A million people in the crowd, but I only see your face in all the lights. And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby, I really want to make you mine. I don't really care about love. Okay. 
Okay, so I just finished this bulletin board. I think it looks really, really cute. Obviously, it doesn't have any content on it whatsoever right now, but it at least has the fabric and the border, and it took me a lot longer than I thought it would to put it up for some reason. I think it's just like such a big bulletin board. So I do like how it turned out though. At first, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like just like the plain borders on the edge, because usually I do patterns, but I do really like it. And then down here, I had to get just a little bit creative around the outlet. So I think eventually what I'll do is take a permanent marker and then put like black marker on all of the staples so you can't really see them but for now it looks good and yeah I'm kind of impressed with myself that I <laughs> made it look so good so yay and then now I have that craft border right there this is actually from Hobby Lobby but I've gotten it off Amazon in the past and other colors the Amazon one that you would want to search is just Bordet is the normal brand but you can also just get this at like Hobby Lobby I haven't seen it at Michaels I don't think but yes I got that at Hobby Lobby and it just comes in like a big roll like you guys saw so anyways I think what I'm going to do now is add this onto my vocab bulletin board as well as the bulletin board by my desk so that's what's next on the agenda so let's do it also my sweet friend friend Shelly who is early adventures on YouTube and like all the places she's been posting her classroom setup videos and I've been saving them for when I set up my classroom so I can like watch hers while I'm setting up my own I don't know if you guys do that but I always love her videos I look forward to them every year so I will link her below she's awesome go check out Shelly you guys have probably already seen them but yeah I'm just like so excited to binge watch these while I set up my room she's the best Okay, editing Kim popped me on really quick because I realized when I was editing that I accidentally didn't have my microphone plugged in all the way when I filmed a clip. Luckily for the rest of the video, it's fine, but I went home for a little bit and ate dinner and then changed into comfy clothes and then went back into my classroom. So in the next clip, you're gonna see me in comfy clothes and I just ran into pop on really quick to explain why. So let's roll the clips. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so I decided I'm gonna use the same border situation as I did for my other big bulletin board, but I might run out of border. So I'm gonna try it, and then that way I know if I need to go buy more of this. So then when I come in on Saturday, I can finish it if I need to, but we'll try it. <laughs> okay, so I somehow had exactly enough of the border like look it literally finished right here I had like a tiny piece that I used for the last little bit like what how did that happen so now I'm gonna layer the white on top of it and hopefully I end up having enough of this too I don't know if I will but it would be awesome if I did <laughs> Okay, so I almost had enough, like look how close I am. Look at that, there's just like one little baby gap right there and then I didn't have enough white for this side right here. So I will have to get some more white border but that's totally fine. I was really excited that I had enough of the tan at least and I like love that tan, I think it looks so cute. I love the texture of it and it's kind of like, it almost feels like construction paper, like it's just, I don't know, I like it. And then the last thing I'm gonna do before I go is take down the paper over here on this board. So I'm gonna move some of these tables out of the way or some of the desks I mean. I already started moving some of the desks into just like the middle of the room. Part of me would really like some tables but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to swing that. So yes, I'm just gonna move the desks and then take down that paper maybe put some black fabric on there and then I'm gonna head out oh, did you guys see that <laughs> I pulled out the border and crayons flew out at me that was funny yeah. 
Okay, so this is what this little bulletin board looks like without any fabric. So I'm gonna go check really quick to see if I have any black fabric that will fit this. I'm not sure if I do, but I'm gonna look around and see. And then, I don't know if I really showed you this one, I can't remember, but that's what this one's looking like from over here. And then my desk one, I did move around those labels a little bit. I still don't know if I love them like that. I feel like it still looks kind of uneven to me. I don't know, but oh well. So that's what that one looks like. This one, you can tell it got rid of a ton of the wrinkles. So I seriously love this stuff. I can't thank you guys enough for recommending this. I probably would not have thought to buy this. So thank you for that recommendation. So yes, I use that on this. It looks way, way better. I have not looked for the magnetic border yet, but I will soon. This one, you guys have seen, I feel like probably the most out of all of them, but yes, this one's looking really, really good. I did print new posters that have like black instead of white words on the back, but I haven't laminated them yet. So eventually I will and I'll bring those in. And then I have all of this stuff back here, all sorts of stuff. <laughs> Okay, slight change in plans. I only have two pieces of fabric left and the first piece looks like this. So it has a little cutout in it from an outlet in my old room. And then the other piece looks like this. So it's another like jigsaw type piece. So neither of them will work for that little bulletin board, which is good to know because now I can buy some over the next couple days and then be good to go when I come back on Saturday. So I don't think I'll be in again this week until Saturday, but when I come in on Saturday, I'm planning on being here like almost all day. My mom's coming in. We're going to do the back wall and put like the wood paper up. We're going to do a bunch of things. Like I have a long list of things that we're going to get done. I love, love, love when my mom comes in to help me set up because it's just so much more fun when you have another person and she's just like so patient and she's so good with like the tedious tasks she has so much more patience than I do and it's just like so much more fun so I'm super excited to have her in so yes that will be my next setup vlog I'm really excited about it I'm hoping I can get this one up maybe tomorrow right now as I'm filming this it's Wednesday so I'm thinking if I go home and edit this tonight maybe I can have it up tomorrow on Thursday and then have my next one up on Sunday if I can edit that one on Saturday night. So I don't know, we'll see. That might be overly ambitious, but that is my hope. So if you have any tips or tricks or anything that you think would look good in my room, definitely feel free to leave that in a comment below. Let me know if you've gotten to your classroom and if you started setting up, let me know what your theme is or your color scheme that you go with. I would love to know all the things in a comment below. One more shameless self plug that if you're not following me on Instagram, TikTok, all the fun places, then definitely check below for a link to all of those and take a moment to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I would love to have you back here. Thank you so much for watching this vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye!